Hi everyone, this is Suja. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today, this is bed episode number six. So, you know, we're on roll. Let's go see what uh, what transpired the other day, if I made any money or if I lost any. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> if, I had, if I had done what I thought I, you know, I would have made 3,700 in profit. Jesus Christ, I really need to like seriously trade. Okay. Um, so yeah, cool. Trades are winning, yo. So as I said to you guys before, um, this completes, we're going to have a breakout of the 6,100 area and I'm probably going to have another breakout till roughly 65, 681 because of, um, the Fibonacci and then, you know, you know what? I'm just going to take the profit, just close this trade here. Close position. So I just made three grand easy. And on Ethereum, what did I make? All right, I'm, a, I'm just going to keep the uh, $50 on the Ethereum and then Doge. I actually lost 13 cents. That's not good. All right, but uh, all in all, I've made some cash, which is great. Three grand is sort of a month's salary <laughs> for like a normal person. Actually, I don't know. If the average is, okay, what's the average? Um, Income, say it's 40, right? Say it's 40K a year. Ah, I'll give it to you, I'll give you 50K per year. You're doing something or other. That's 4,000 per month, right? So, you know, whoever makes 50K, I've, I've made that in this fake money, <laughs> trading fake money on this fake paper account, reading some charts and stuff, holy crap. No wonder people do this. It can get addicting. If you can make a living off this, why shouldn't you? But obviously day trading is dangerous because, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, you're going to lose your money. So, you know, uh, I think I did one of the cardinal sins of uh, uh, trading here, which is closing your position too early. Oh, well, can't help it. So let's see, you know, it's going back up. And I told you we're going to hit this area. We're probably going to come back down again to roughly 62,000 ish. You know, we might actually come back down to roughly 58. And then we might go back up. So I'm I'm hoping, actually, I'm thinking there's going to be a pullback after because it's usually look at the pattern. One shoulder, two shoulder, pull back. One shoulder, two shoulder, three shoulder, pull back. One, two, there's going to be another shoulder and then it's going to probably be a pullback. All right. So, excuse me. Ah, looks like my stomach is on point digesting the food that I ate. Okay, so let's go into Ethereum. Let's see what Ethereum's doing. ETH, ETH baby. Ooh, well, that doesn't look good. Let's see. Yeah, so Ethereum's above the 21 EMA. Everything looks good. Uh, yeah, it's about to break this area, which is the 1874. 0.95 once that breaks it's probably going to go another um push upward and then yeah this doesn't seem to be stopping you know i don't, i'm not seeing a pullback yet which is odd you know maybe it's going to cross to the 2000 area and then come back down sharply and probably test back up to the 2000 area again so you know i'm not reading this kage or this Kage is not giving me any information as to what might happen because one, two, three pattern. Here I have one shoulder, two shoulder, three shoulder, four shoulder. We're going to have a fifth shoulder and then we might have a come down somewhere we, or we might not. So ugh, that's a bit of a bit of a doozy there. So for me, I'm still I'm still thinking, you know, it'll follow Bitcoin. I still think it'll follow Bitcoin, but it may not. So we're gonna have to see. Uh, and then let's go back to our Doge coins. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, what did they do? What did they, what did they do? Okay, so yeah. So this is inching its way back up. You know, it'll probably hit this area. This area is the test, and then it'll probably go back up again. So uh as you can see it might actually come back down to point oh four six six four six five five and then go back up so that's fine um 
Huh, how many waists do these things have? One, two waist. Okay, so lower, low. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go back to Bitcoin here and I'm just gonna check something real quick with the Kage chart. So how many waist? So if Bitcoin's in a downturn, like in this area right here from Jan 2018 to basically May 2019, um, then you see this one, two shoulder pattern. And if it's in an upturn, it seems to be just one, sorry, not a shoulder, this, these are waist. These waist seem to be only one during the up cycle, meaning the, the, the macro cycle, the, the up cycle, you know what I mean. <laughs> the bull market, the bull cycle, there we go. See, I know the words. I know all the best words. Huge, huge vocabulary. Okay. So that might be a pattern. It might come down, have one of these little um, waistlines, and then go back up. If it's in a downturn, then you, I'm expecting two waistlines. But since this is in an upturn, it's only going to be one, just based on this pattern alone. Again, this is a sample size of one. It's probably not a good idea just to trade on this, but... I'm new and I can make mistakes, you know, for the time being when I'm paper trading, but would I trade this with real money? Yeah, that remains to be seen. So that's where I'm at. That's where my analysis is at. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Link, comment, subscribe, or rather, uh, not link. <laughs> yeah, actually link. <laughs> comment, subscribe, and like, right? Enjoy the show. Uh, Bitcoin's on the up, you know. I need to title this something. It's like, yeah, I'll just put Bitcoin on the up. So that'll be that. So see you guys around. See you on the next one. Bye.